One of the questions we get every single time, and I know you guys cheer when back to set is, when are guild capital ships coming? So, I'm going to let Jeff answer the question, sort of. <laughs> we just discussed this. Jeff, come on. Awesome. <laughs> I've never seen this before. No, 
I'm also a fan. I like the Torah stuff, so I'm going to train that. All right, Danny. Next question. It's up to Rachel, so just yell at her. Okay. Uh, my question was, can we get some type of story build up or a scene or something awesome being into the space battles, or will we just get like a quick terminal that's like, hey, space battles, go for it? <laughs> so, so I mentioned in my presentation, uh, the question to uh, rephrase was, are you making story leading into the battles of Galactic and Star Trek? Uh, as I mentioned in my presentation, I think that uh, the answer to that question is that when we uh, launch, our full launch in February, we have new Flashpoint, Kuat Drive Yards, a new area on the fleet which relates to Starfire, and the Kuat Drive Yards Flashpoint actually does tell a story uh, relating to how the life of Star Fighter and these other battles in space came to be. Good question. Yes. <laughs> um, why did you decide to do free flight space PvP or free flight space PvE? <laughs> Um, let's see, what's the, I'm not going to get fired to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, there's something called opportunity cost. And every time you decide to do something, it means you're not doing something else. So player demand for PvP was very high. And was it as high as other things? Absolutely. It was actually higher than most things as far as free play space. And so the decision was made because doing something, well, there are a lot of factors involved. First of all, we love PvP. The demand is for PvP. Um, the real big question was, can we do it at all? Like when we started the Space Team in August of last year, and we really started putting serious effort towards it, we didn't know if we could do free flight. Like, it was almost crushed the first two, three months. You might not have anything. So it was a lot easier for us to take an approach of, since we love PvP, instead of adding AI and scripting and really custom levels and a whole bunch of other features, let's start with something that, if this works, awesome, maybe it will lead to other stuff. I'm not fired. You got a lot of help I'm fired. That's pretty good. Love all of you. So, for the fleet rack and the ship rack, can we get a button to not spend the fleet rack as a template? So, before you answer this question, uh, only because it's something that wasn't in a lot of the slides, one of you might want to explain the difference between the two requisitions as well. Yeah, so I explain it anyway. So, ship requisition, the question is being could we get a button to confirm or stop the accidental spending of fleet requisition, which implies that you understand the difference between the two requisitions. Astute. Uh, so ship requisition is experience that is earned on a particular ship as you use it in battle. Uh, fleet requisition, we get a small percentage of fleet requisition based on the amount of ship requisition you get. There will be other methods to get fleet requisition as well, such as daily and weekly quests. Correct, Mr. Davis? Yes. Uh, the difference being, uh, ship requisition you spend on an individual ship. I flew my scout, variant A, and I earn ship requisition, I want to upgrade it, I spend the ship requisition I earn. Fleet requisition can be used on any ship. It can be used to unlock new ships. It can be un used to unlock any characters that I don't have unlocked or crew. Uh, so, we're certainly super sensitive to the idea that we don't want people to spend that accidentally. We've made sure that we clarify that in the purchase dialogue to a large degree. Um, but as to your specific question of will we put in an additional confirmation, at this point, no. Uh, if that becomes a larger issue, then we would certainly consider it. You can, you can imagine, he's got a great answer because we talked about this a lot. Um, it, it's going over and over and we're going back and forth on it. Um, the solution we have in place right now is that you're going to go with it and see what happens. Uh, move forward through December, January, go to launch. Uh, have you seen the newest dialogue that pops up? So, so the newest dialogue literally says you are about to spend X food requisition purchase. So no, there's not a confirm confirm, but we do let you know right immediately if you're about to do it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Look at it just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very sad to say that yes, each character you will have to play Starfighter in and of itself. So once you swap, switch over to a hero character, you have to unlock everything. You'll only see ships for that faction. But for instance, if you play your trooper and then go to your Jedi Knight, there's, there's nothing shared between them. Uh, and that's true for companions and all that other stuff. Yeah. And just so we're clear, there's technological reasons behind that. Transferring of servers and a bunch of other stuff. It was something we really, really took a hard look at, but the cost was really, really high to, to get it to work appropriately. Wait, I have two questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, Starfighter is a legacy. Uh, well, currently, that would be a legacy. Because it's just kind of a legacy. Also, the there are legacy perks to give you enhanced ground. I don't know if you noticed if you get ground. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even know my so selfish. Of me. The, que the question is this to I'll, I'll paraphrase. So I'll paraphrase. To paraphrase the question, are there legacy perks for Black and Star Trek? Um, there are legacy perks, and I don't know if you noticed this, but you will gain ground game experience for the character that you're playing, as well as credits. So there will be legacy perks that affect your ground game experience, but there will not be legacy perks that enhance your requisition. But so like, kind of like a flash, flash So yeah, yeah. yeah. flash is the outside the regular storyline, but they wouldn't lose your character. Right. So if I'm going to start firing, they don't have as much character when I come back to the ground line. Yes, correct. Yeah, okay. you're leaving at the hole. You're leveling up to level two, like after you finish the battle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think the easy way to think of it is to think of. Uh, your your ship in Galactic Starfighter is like instead of you playing a ship Imperial agent who's getting wars of commendations to deck yourself out and handle growing, you're playing a fighter. What the hell? There's a picture of a soldier playing Galactic Starfighter. Uh, instead, you're, 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 <laughs> 
I don't know if I can't say that. You say we're Anyway, instead of being a character, it's a ship, but it progresses like a character does, not like a thing. Yes, attached to your character. Yeah. Uh, are there any plans to add uh, joystick control to Street Fighter? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I, and so I have answered this question multiple times this evening. It is, it is a community uh, thought, if you will. Um, so at this time, no. Uh, it's clearly something we've heard about in forums. It's clearly something we've thought about a lot. Uh, I think part of the thought process there for us was making sure that we didn't differentiate Starfighter too much from the ground game, and that starts to get a little bit weird in terms of then, hey, the ground control is for the ground game, all kinds of strange questions around that. Which is not to say that as Starfighter launches, if that's something that people are deeply interested in and excited about, would we consider it? Yes. Will it will it ship at launch in or is it planned at this time? No. How many people in this room have a choice of sitting on the desk with them? Anyone in the back? Is your hand back? So I noticed in this one you guys have set up the ability to select multiple buildings and lay out your ships. Any plans on implementing that on the ground? Like multiple specs for the ground? Game? Well, that's basically the question is, will we ever implement multi-spec and or a like, gear swapper? Yeah. I mean, that, that's a good point. <laughs> will we ever make it? I can say it's on the wall. Like, okay, that's the best I got. So why didn't you admit it? Say it again. We were ready to get like in 98. Why didn't you admit it earlier? <laughs> yeah, that, that's all. I mean, if that type of question, most of the time is going to be, we have 100 things we want to do, we can do two. Right now, we chose not to do those for whatever reason that specific thing was. I don't know that one, like why you would do that, but um, it's, it's definitely something we still talk about. It, it's, we're planning for the next year right now, and if that specific thing is going to come up with a hey, you know what we're great, it's that, you know, lookouts or whatever we want to call them at the time, um, with this next update for whatever it is. So he gets talked about it. I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a really hard one. It's hard to quantify the result that you get. How many people really use it? Do I trade that one for something else? You know, so that's, that's a tough one. Okay, I'm going to use some analogy here. Don't boom me, please. In, in World of Warcraft... You can design guild towers that all your characters can wear. Okay? In a lot of, a lot of flight games, okay, you actually have details that you can put on your plane or vehicle to designate either that plane or the unit, or possibly the guild. Do you have any plans to try to incorporate something like that in the future where you can have a unique decal for a unit or for a guild that you can put on your plane? I'm going to give this to Michael, but first I have to say that one of my demands is to they refuse. They refuse. To <laughs> refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I might like pirates. Might? I'm a pirate. What's to do exactly that with like cool myth of myth of source soul, man of war decals and put them on two it's so awesome. So that, that, that's my answer. I want <laughs> Whatever Jeff wants, we do. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it really comes down to it's one of those things. It's, it's you have to prioritize better VFX tools versus new icons versus more paint jobs. 
and, and that was really, really on the list and really, really high of things that we want to do. I personally would love to do it in the future. It is on the wall crazy. Um, if Starfighter does well, I can guarantee you more customization options like that would be amazing to do. We really want your Starfighters to feel personalized. We want guild icons on them. Like, I, could go, I, I think I told these guys up front. Yeah, I think you guys are still here. One of my dream features, I, like, I want the space worm from Empire Strikes Back to pop out of the asteroid and swallow your ship. Like, like the wall of crazy, that's some great, great ideas. And that's, that's one of those things. If we want more customization options, and that's definitely the high on that list. So, I've got a question for Jeff about the uh, left axter. Is that going to come on? So, actually, what I wanted to ask you about. It was like nine years ago. I did not know the answer to that. What I actually wanted to ask about was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, what I wanted to ask about actually was uh, about legacy and how you kind of make the decision. Which systems uh, are going to be legacy wide, and which ones are going to be character specific, like social points versus reputation? The rewards for both are essentially cosmetic. What makes one a character thing, and what makes one legacy? This is a really hard question for anyone of us standing up here to answer. Part of it is, but this is the kind of question that honestly it touches a lot of people in the studio. Like, I don't think there's, there isn't like one decision maker sitting at the guy sitting in the legacy chair, like, oh, this is a legacy, this is not legacy. I, right, you should really have to care. Uh, I think what it comes down to, uh, at least in my experience, and they can correct me because they're actually designers or not, but uh, it seems like one of those new features that are implemented, that conversation just happens. Like, for example, like Matt just talked about what, what is in the legacy system as part of Black and Starfighter. Like, the legacy system is something that's a big deal in our game. It's something that you know, we've always tried to support since launch, and I think it's just very much, this is a new feature, one of the, the pegs on the board is how is this going to interact with legacy? And I mean, it's just a conversation that happens amongst the teams of what are we going to put or not put in it. Um, I mean, maybe they can talk specifically about Starfighter, maybe, but that's just a conversation that just happens amongst a team of people when the features are being implemented. Is that a fair answer? Yeah, that's a good answer. Does that answer your question? Sort of. Okay. That's probably the best. Sort of probably the best thing that we've ever been standing here until we get the legacy chair. <laughs> Once I've sat in that, I will answer your question better. Hi. Um, I actually went from Star Wars to the public for a while. I uh, did see the uh, preview for the Life of Star Wars as many years I'm here, and that uh, one just played in. I'm definitely going to be subscribed. Yeah. Um, yeah! All right! <laughs>
this is, this is the type of thing, once we hear that, I think that's why multiple specs stops getting done. Like all of a sudden, if demand is so great that we want that, your feature just got pushed because this is the type of conversation we have. So play that, guys. Play that. I, feel like, I feel like this should be a strategy we have now at the venture of that certain place. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I really was on board with Google Spec, but now that guy has this awesome thing. Like, I know. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I can win next for the 30,000 credits per top engagement, whatever. Um, so when you go back and you create the legacy chair, can we talk about legacy banks and for the love of God, legacy in your list? <laughs> I want to make people everywhere on every character of all time, ever. Um, so you may have an answer that I need to do this because I have an ink in my mind. I'm actually thinking technically how difficult it would be to do that. So there's, there's two parts to the legacy bank thing, if I remember it correctly. I probably shouldn't have saying this out loud, but I don't know if this. One of them is tech problems with it, I know, and I'm pretty sure Pat has also uh, performance problems. Anything that raises storage. And it, and it sounds really bizarre, I know, but they can have performance implications. I feel like I remember having that conversation with had is perform. I think it's a tech and performance issue that would need to be addressed. It's not, it's not that it's, it is not a design decision that we're not doing it, it is a limitation of tech and performance that's stopping it. So, uh, let's see how many of you remember when we accidentally implemented that feature. Does anyone remember that? Yeah. So, we, it was, it was an accident that we turned on where, uh, what are you, you guys don't talk about, but Basically, it's kind of something like that where it was, if you had a friend on one character, it wasn't ignored, it was a friend. A friend on one character, you went up to another character. I don't even know how that happened. I don't know what they were playing with. That was never intended. And I know everyone's like, well, that's an awesome feature, just put it in. But the people who were hiding from the yes. from one yeah. character. It's, it's, a, it's a huge security problem that became part of it. The universe one more would save that entire problem, but it's like when I had, I had to put it like, Sure. And being on like one side, if I'm on the phone with all the lobby, it's totally different from the future. Like, if I try to pay, it's all kind of this. Yep. It's it's one of those things where the ability to the ability to have a friend a fr talk across a friends list was an accident and a bug. What we're talking about, where you have like something that's actually functional with security features, with that becomes a feature. And that's, <laughs> I'm saying it jokingly, but it's true. Like, that's why all of a sudden there's that kind of stuff behind it. Yeah. I think it's something, I, I don't actually know how the fuck happened. I don't even remember. That was a while ago. Um, but, yeah, we'll take it back. And it's going to be our last question. All right. I don't want to get any uh, developers in trouble or anything, but did I just hear a. Uh, uh, hint that you are working on double specs and that we'll have the ability to uh, push the button, switch from, uh, I play a sniper, so from March to the Valley. At what? some point in the near What? What you heard was that the last part of what you said. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Right, just as I can answer that as now, I can clarify what Jeff said, which is that uh, when talking about Kind of like how uh, we've alluded to that it becomes a question of prioritization of what we want to do. Like, we have, we have, this is a good thing I tell people is if there's something you wish was in the game, so believe me, we, we wish it was there too. Like, we play, I play, I wish I played less more. I play way too much of our own game. As do pretty much anyone too. We play a lot of the game. So we know the same features you guys want. We want them too. The problem is we only have so much time, so of the thousand things we want, we can do three. And so we have to pick what those three are. So what Jeff said is that, on that list of a thousand we're talking about for future stuff, that's one of them. Does that mean it will happen? It's got 997 other things to fight with, um, so we don't know. But it's, it, there's been discussions about it, but there's been discussions about a lot of things. Um, so I wouldn't take that as an indication that you're going to see it necessarily, but it's been talked about for sure. I would guess the answer is yes, we're aware of the desire for it, and we have more details if it ends up being real. Is that? Is that that's a shitty answer. That's a shitty answer. That's not a shitty answer. That's what I can do with it. That's a shitty answer.
That's what that, that's what that is. But that's, that's the truth. It honestly is the truth. I know it's not the answer you want. I'm not going to say, yeah, I see it. Whatever. It's tempting to see it. It's not, I don't know. That's, that's the strongest truth. That's what it is. As of right now. All right, so, uh, no, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's just going around. Yeah. To be honest with you, there you go. So, for starters, if you guys wouldn't mind, I would like a round of applause for all the guys who come out. The second one I would like is, and this one is honestly, we will applaud far out of you what is, I genuinely cannot express how thankful we all are that all of you took time from your day to come out and see the Lightning Starfighter and you spent time with us today. Like, it means the world to us. We, we sit back and we work on this game constantly and it's great to see you So thank you. And I have one more thing I feel like we're to This is, I feel like this is the most important. The one thing that, that we all have to address is some of these guys are first timers, but Jeff and I especially, we get to travel around a lot and talk to you guys and see how much you guys love the game. And, uh, and we appreciate it, like I said, far more than you can know. But there's a group of people, and they are the rest of Fire in Austin, who sit back in Austin and work on this game for far more hours than where normal people should work um, to give you guys what, what you guys have and what you guys love. So they're pretty far off in Austin, so if we can get them a really, really loud round of applause, hopefully they're very nice.